Hey everybody, it's Rob again. Alright, today we're going to be talking about boat etiquette. Things to and not to do on the boat while you're at the ramp. Uh, get ready to get all your stuff together. But first, uh, I'm going to debut one of these beers again for us. Alright, Dog Tag Brewing. This one is dedicated to Lieutenant Brendan Looney from Owings, Maryland. Born 24 February 1991. Died 21 September 2010. He died in Operation During Freedom, that's what that was right there, OEF, and he was a Navy SEAL. So thank you to Lieutenant Looney. I'm out here at our boat storage area, and we're lucky enough to have a big open area so we can back into our spot here, and we can take care of all the prep work here. Now the prep work is coolers, um, chairs, all the stuff that you're going to be taking out with you on the boat needs to be done right here or should be done right here um, not every boat ramp is made the same I get it you may not have this opportunity but if you can load stuff even before you leave the house put it in your boat ahead of time don't do it at the boat ramp because there's people waiting to get in there and I'll get into that a little bit more first I want to get into how we do it um, you have to have a process and teamwork those are the two biggest things teamwork is huge um, my wife and I, everything is teamwork. We do everything together. We both have our roles in this whole process. Um, I drive the boat. She drives the truck. She is a pro at backing the truck in and out. Uh, most women don't do that. And for the life of me, don't know why. Um, so I'm here to tell you that because you have those, doesn't mean you can't drive these okay you can't you can do it um, I'm gonna introduce my wife Kay she's a five foot little Hispanic girl and she drives this lifted truck with the boat behind it like she does it every day her dad taught her well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start step by step obviously the cover is gonna be first Now that the cover's off, now it's time to load everything. Let's redo your coolers. We have what we call a boat bag, miscellaneous snacks, towels, sunscreen. Uh, all that stuff goes in here as well at this time. Okay, so cover's off, everything's loaded, we're ready to go. Never even left our spot. This is where you get all of your stuff ready. Don't be the guy that's sitting over on the ramp doing all this stuff, okay? The only thing we have left to do now is disconnect the front. We're gonna get that here in a minute. Straps and the plug. Okay, you heard me mention teamwork uh, and how my wife does everything. Look guys, I know how everybody is territorial and they're very protective of their toys and boats. Uh, but you need to get over that. Um, there's too many people that pull up to a boat ramp and disconnect from there. All their family members pile out and they're just standing there watching one poor bastard unhook the boat, move the boat out to the dock. And then he's just in everybody's way. Okay, we're all waiting to get in line or get in the water while he's just sitting there and everybody else is staring at him, doing it all by himself. Don't be those people, okay? Get, the, get your significant other, whatever they're called nowadays, wife, husband, whatever, get them involved. Women can drive these trucks. I promise you, it's not that hard. Take them to a Walmart. Teach them. Okay, one more thing before we head over to the boat ramp. Um, you'll see when I get over there, but when you're that person who's either loading by yourself or doesn't trust anybody else to touch your boat while it's in the water, uh, if your boat dock is in line, directly in line with the boat ramp, don't park it right there. So nobody, now when you're taking your truck back and your boat's tied off, nobody can get in that whole lane. And I'll show you what I'm talking about once we get out there. Move it around to the other side of the dock if you have to do it by yourself. Um, or teach your significant other to get in that boat and drive it around. Like here, when you'll see when we get over there, there's a big open space. We just float around. 
That's what I do. Float around and wait for my wife to bring the truck or to walk back after she parks the truck in the trailer. So this is teamwork. Have to work together. Okay, tip number one, when you're going into a boat launch like this one, you can fit two boats in here. Don't be that dick that goes right down the center and block it off so only one boat can get in there. So you see what I'm talking about, how that dock right there is right in the lane. So if you put your boat in and then tie it off and all your family members standing there and <clears throat> somebody like me can't get in the water, from this lane. Don't be that guy. Take it around to the other side, tie it off so everybody else can get in the boat or get their boat in the water. Okay? Easy stuff. And this is, again, this is where teamwork comes in. Even if you do put it in there and you got your family members over there, throw them a rope. I mean, hell, a 10 year old kid can, can move a three, four, or five thousand pound boat around with a rope. So just get them a, a wife or a husband or a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, kids. Or kids and move it around the other side of the boat ramp and get it out of everybody's way. Okay, so I'm in the I'm in the boat, and as you can see, the wife is gone. She moved it out of the way, and I'm just floating around right now, waiting for her to come back. So she just escorts the truck and the trailer back. And that's it. We're it's just a it's a perfect little routine that we've developed. Um, so it's easy, in and out. And I'll go back to two boats at the same time. I'll tell you that it's tight. It can be tight. But my wife, and you, you've heard me talk about our friends Jeremy and Caroline, my wife and Caroline have both backed those boats up right next to each other in that boat ramp. So it, it's not hard. You know, my wife taught um, Jeremy's wife kind of how to do the backing up stuff for the most part. So it really isn't that hard to teach somebody. It's, it is very easy. Plus it makes it fun when you do it together. You know, it's, a, it's an accomplishment thing, you know, teamwork. Never get too old for that. Okay, here's a perfect example. These dick holes behind us who pulled in and just fucking parked their boat right there. You know, somebody wanted to come in. You got two more than capable men sitting there like a couple of girls. Don't take that offensively, but a couple of helpless little turds who can't even move a boat. They're okay with blocking everybody else. Don't be those dicks.
trucks are my wife and Jeremy's wife. So we'll see how they do. There you go that's how it's done two chicks can drive trucks on a boat ramp and get it down there on each side no problem okay so there you have it that's our little video on boat etiquette now as a disclaimer we're not perfect we don't do everything right every time but we try to respect everybody else around us the best that we can uh, I can't preach enough about making the process much more expeditious by including your partner, whether it's your ho your husband, your wife, your partner, whatever it is. Just having one person try to do all that stuff is really a hindrance to everybody else. So just wanted to put that little video together for you guys to see how we do it. Um, and our friends Jeremy and Caroline. Um, and great example when we were coming back, uh, getting those two boats in at the same time, making it pretty quick. So it's really that easy when you work together. So, okay, side note, <clears throat> talk anchors real quick. I know if you guys watch my videos in the past, you'll know that I'm a huge uh, fan of uh, Mantis anchors. My wife and I went through a, a several versions of anchors, and we finally just landed with this Mantis anchor, and we've had zero problems. Um, I take that back, one problem, and that was in Bimini when that sand is so coarse, it's not fine um, and some like muddy and thick like it is here. You, that's the kind of sand, it's like the desert. You take one step forward, you take three steps back. So that was, you know, there was no getting around that. There wasn't an anchor around that's gonna, you know, stick you in that stuff. But, uh, but we've had no problems. Every time we've set that anchor, it, it stays. So, that's why I got involved with Mantis Anchors and they made me an affiliate. I do get like a dollar or something, nothing significant um, for everyone that I sell. So, but that allows me to get discounts for you guys. So down in, the, in my description box, I'm gonna put a little link to the Mantis Anchors and you'll get a little bit of a discount if you follow my link to my affiliate page of Mantis and order through there. Um, so just for reference sake, we have a 24 foot, 13 pound anchor, we'll hold that boat, and it, it's graded up to like a 40 foot boat, I believe. Uh, and on the back, we have an 8 foot. Overkill, but when windy conditions out there in the Gulf, my boat goes nowhere. So, well worth the money. Well worth the money. Again, link down there, and I hope you all have a good time, and 
stay safe.